Hi guys, uh, Dr. Ken Nordberg back again. <laughs> you know, before I start on today's subject, I want to show you something. Uh, last time, I, t I demonstrated the use of a cough suppressor. It worked pretty good. I've got another gizmo on my neck here. Kind of a crazy thing, I need to buy another one. And I, I haven't seen one. I hope I see one again soon. This is called a cough must muffler. Uh, cold air will sometimes tickle my throat when I'm out there sitting in a tree stand. I got a cough coming on and just muffling my mouth with my gloves or with my hands with gloves on the phone isn't enough. The cough will still be quite loud. But you can look at it. I'll, I'll do a little cough <coughs> and I'll do the same thing here. <coughs> See that? <laughs> that's pretty effective and that's better than eat it than putting a cough drop in your mouth, and those things usually have a lot of strange odor to them, which might be a little bit alarming to any deer that are downwind of you. A cough muffler. And it's surprising, I got quite a few emails from people about, uh, one guy said, yeah, that's the best invention for deer hunting I ever saw. He said, where can I buy one? Well, so I went on the internet to see if I could find those things for sale, and I couldn't. But I did get a lot of emails from guys who made their own. Made them out of pop bottles. Uh, one guy used a one liter jar and then a half liter and one guy used a, a wide mouth uh, a bottle of some kind and I said well maybe I can make one too. So I found a pill bottle. Got the label off of it. It isn't done yet. Uh, and uh, it's got a wide mouth on it and uh, drill some holes on the bottom. you got to have holes there so your breath can go through and be muffled. And what a lot of guys did is they just uh, crinkled up some uh, paper toweling and stuffed it in the jar, not real tight. Your, your breath's got to be able to go through there to be muffled all the way to the bottom. And you need the holes so that uh, your breath and the sound is uh, uh, funneled in that direction and the sound of the cough should be gone by the time it gets to this place here. So just simple paper toweling inside. So and it works pretty good. Uh, before I'm done I'm going to spray this with dull dark brown camel paint. But anyway, here's a cough. <coughs> or that's not really that fake cough. But <coughs> <coughs> like that and I get those in the woods colder hit my vocal cords tickles and I go <coughs> I'll do that in the jar works <laughs> simple thing like that so uh, you probably can't find one anywhere you can make one out of a out of a, a jar like this and put some holes in the bottom put paper toweling inside you might have to replace that every few years but that's be easy to do. The cover on top, keep it dry, and maybe a lanyard so you keep it around your neck if you're expecting to cough while you're out there in your at your stand site. So, simple solution for that. That really works. Okay. Uh, thank you for uh, returning. Uh, thank you for coming to my YouTube presentations, and I wish you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel. Pressing that button right here. <laughs> uh, it's free, it only takes a minute, and uh, you'll get you'll be notified every time I post a new YouTube presentation. Uh, and there's other advantages, but do that for me, I'd appreciate it. And and so with that, I'll see you again soon. Yeah. <clears throat> now, yeah, by the way, uh, you're not the only guys watching this. <laughs> I'm now approaching two and a half million minutes of watch time on YouTube. That's, that's amazing. <laughs> Can you imagine? So, thank you. I guess I must be doing something pretty good. <laughs> thank you again. Be sure to visit my website. Here's the link. Here you'll find links to my blog posts, my Twitter account, my YouTube account, my Amazon store with links to my eBooks. My son's eBay store, a money saver if you're ordering from Canada or other countries. 
And be sure to sign up for my email updates. Here you will also find deer and bear hunting articles, my website bookstore, and much more.